Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie. Today I have what is quite possibly going to be the largest collective unboxing review haul that I have ever done here on my channel slash probably will ever do here on my channel. I have something like seven, eight, or nine boxes and I am so stinking excited feel free at any point to pause get yourself a drink get yourself a snack blanket get cozy because we are going to be revving up for what is most likely going to be a 60 minute video i am going to link all the information for all these companies in the description below websites social media platforms a little bit about the company price points, whether I got the box for free, whether I bought the box, whether it was sent to me for viewing purposes, if I have any discount codes, the whole nine yards. I'm trying to be as transparent as I possibly can be. Also, because there are going to be so many boxes in this video, in the description, I will put a timestamp for when each one of these boxes begin in case you are here for only one or another. If you have any other questions and concerns after watching this video, just ask them in the comments below and I will try very, very hard to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, let's get unboxing. As always, I'm going to be going in no particular order. I'm also going to just move all of these other boxes aside for now so they're not distracting. And I'm going to start off with box number one, which is fun.com. Fun.com, reach out to me. None of these are sponsored, by the way. This is not a sponsored video, but again, in the description, I will let you know if the box was sent to me for reviewing purposes or if I purchased it on my own. And again, I will let you know if I have any discount codes if you would like to shop off of their website website for yourself. So I'm going to start off with fun.com. I typically start these videos off with my magic mail, which is any Disney subscription service or Disney content. So I have two today that are Disney related and I'm going to start off with fun.com. Although fun.com is not specifically related to Disney, it's not like primarily a Disney website. They are really known for their fandom products. You can get Disney products, Star Wars products, you can get Rick and Morty products, you can get all sorts of fandom products. So I highly suggest you check their website out. It is so much fun, hence the name fun.com. So I picked out mostly Disney items because you know, it's me. So let's open that up and I'm going to share everything that I picked out. This is not a subscription service, it is just a website. So the very first thing that I picked out is Dumbo. Our son is going to be 14 months in a couple of days and he's obsessed with elephants lately. He just loves any type of zoo animal. He's not super familiar with Dumbo yet, but he's going to be real soon. And just like, come on, how stinking cute is this Dumbo? It's so cute. The eyes really spoke to my soul. So I got this for my son Landon. He's going to get a kick out of the whole elephant and the we do that all the time with him. And it's just like the cutest little stuffed animal in all of the land. So that is the first thing. I personally, Disney decluttered pretty much my whole entire house. However, I am obsessed with Beauty and the Beast and I do have a nice little Beauty and the Beast little section on some of our cubbies and I don't have anything that is beast related. So I saw this on their website and I was like, yup, need to have that. So now I have a little beast figurine. This is a Pop Funko, I believe they're called. Pop Funko Vinyl The Beast Figurine. So I'll take it out and give you a closer look. Everything is very reasonable on their website as well and Spoiler alert, their website is very dangerous because it is so addicting. I found myself on there for literal hours because I was like, I want this, I want this, I want that. But look how cute. Oh, he's so cute and I love the beast. This one is not Disney specific, but I think if you're a Disney fan and you look at this, one thing comes to mind. Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King. So this is a little crossbody bag. If you guys know me but at all, you would know that fall is my happy place. Like autumn is my aesthetic and anything that is related to the fall just brings me so much joy inside of my heart. For me, Halloween is my Christmas. I live for Halloween. So I thought that this would just be the most perfect bag for the fall time, which is right around the corner. Like, oh my God. I love it. I got two more things. This one I'm so excited for. I've never even seen this before. It is a game. It's called Code Names. It's the Disney Family Edition. 
Our son is much too young to play this right now, but within a blink of an eye, he's going to be old enough to play this. And I am also a teacher. I teach fifth grade and I bring a lot of these games into my classroom. So I figured I would play this with my fifth graders and then as Landon gets older, I will be able to play with him. Not even sure the premise of it, so I'm not even gonna try to educate you on it because I don't even know yet. But I got a little, not even a board game, I think it's a card game, but it is called Code Names. I love it. The last one. I know I just said I Disney decluttered like my whole house, but I had to have this. This is, I'm not even gonna show you on the box because it's not gonna do it justice. I'm just gonna take it right on out and share the full experience. It is a little. A vintage Mickey Mouse cookie jar. Look at this. So it is all little like postcards and posters of vintage Mickey Mouse episodes. The artwork is so gorgeous. It is huge inside. Huge, huge, huge inside. And the quality is really, really, really nice. I think this might be my favorite item out of all the items that I got from fun.com. So that is everything for box number one. Thank you so much fun.com for sending me that, like everything. It is epic, it is everything, and it just makes my heart so happy. Like I said, I like to do all of my Disney boxes first. So we're gonna move on to Main Street Mail. This is a subscription service. It is a monthly subscription service. I actually never heard of them before. I was watching YouTube and I can't remember her full YouTube name. It's like Miss Sherry something. I will put it right here. I wanna give her credit because she is the first person that I watched review this box and I fell in love. So I actually reached out to them and asked if they wanted to partner and they said yes. So they sent me a box. It is fully customizable super customizable. They have a very lengthy survey. It would only take you about five minutes, but they really try to hone in on all of their customers and get their specific likes and their specific dislikes so that they can send you a box that is completely, completely curated specifically for you in mind. Another thing about this company, they will send you some vintage items if you are into vintage items and they also partner with small shops. So if you like small shop items, they will include them into the boxes. But if you're not into small shop items, you can say, no, nope, don't want any small shop items, just Disney licensed items. I, however, told them not to customize it for me because I feel like if you watch any of my Disney unboxings, I always customize it the exact same way and you just say the same stuff over and over and over and over again. And I know my likes and dislikes are not the same for all of my viewers. So I asked them just to send me a box that they would typically send to a customer. I don't really even know what's inside here. It might be things that I'm absolutely in love with. It might be things that I'm like not truly a fan of only because I did not do the survey. If you become a member, you have to do the survey. So again, I just asked them to send me a typical box that they would send out to a typical subscriber. So this is again, Main Street Mail. Let's open on up and see what is in store. It is like, oh cute! They add like a little postcard of Mickey. Oh, I love that. It says, Allison, thanks so much for reaching out to us. We hope you enjoy this box, Main Street Mail. I will also say, while talking to them through email, like via email, they are so kind and they are so amazing at their customer service. It just felt like I was talking to a family. I wasn't talking to a company. I just felt like I was talking to like a friend of mine or a family member. So that is really nice to keep in mind when you are working with smaller businesses. Their customer service was on point. So let's, oh, already seeing something that I love. <laughs> so this says, spoiler alert, I guess this is all of the products that they're going to be sending. I'm not going to open that up, but let's start off with a product that I'm obsessed with. Guys, who is my favorite character? I think everybody already knows that. It is, it's Stitch, like look at this, look at the size of this. It's like a little Stitch head pillow pet. I love this, how cute. This is $22.99 retail. Look how cute and fluffy and quality wise, it's so nice. And this says Disney Park, so this is like a specific Disney Park item. Okay, already sold. Next item, I have something inside of a bubble wrap. <laughs> okay, I don't know if they like follow me on Instagram. I don't really think that they do, but like they're hitting all of my favorite items right now. 
Who is my favorite character from Epcot? It's Figment! I got a Figment Alex and Ani. I didn't even know that they had Figment Alex and Ani's. What is life right now? And this retails for $49.99. If you guys know Alex and Ani, they have crazy good quality items. And it's so cute. It even has like a little paintbrush. Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love. Next up, it looks like I'm getting an item from a small shop. It is a sticker and it says, it's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. This would be really cute to put like on my MacBook, my MacBook cover. It's like I customized this box. I didn't, I'm telling you, I did not fill out that survey, but it is like I did fill out that survey because literally all of my favorite items right now, my favorite princess and my favorite Disney movie of ever, I'm sure you guys already know because I talk about it all the time, Beauty and the Beast. The next thing that I'm getting is the Disney Princess Beauty and the Beast Rose Water Face Mask. Now, I personally probably will not be using this. I will gift this to somebody because my skin is so sensitive, but it's really cool to have in the box. I have two more items in here. Like this go box. I'm getting a mug. I didn't break, oh, it's a chip mug, how cute. This retails for $14.99, and the face mask, four? Okay, it retails for $4.90, but look at this cute little sketch artwork chip mug. I love it. Very cute, very cute. I do collect Disney mugs, so this is right up my alley. And this looks like the Starbucks Where You Are series mug, which I personally love. It has just that like very clean, very concise design, very minimal, very perfect. The last item that I am receiving, oh, shut up. How cool is this? First and foremost, it retails for $12.99. <laughs> a popsicle mold okay that's backwards let's turn it around oh my god a little popsicle mold look how cute so we're getting the disney eats popsicle mold set of four and it looks like we have a mickey a mini maybe they're all mickeys i think they're all yeah they're all mickeys but just different colors let me well i'm not gonna open it up yet but we have a little popsicle mold this is a great box <laughs> Highly, highly recommend checking them out. I think that's everything inside. Yeah. And then we got our little postcard, cute little Mickey Mouse. So, wow. Very, very impressed. Great, great find. I'm so glad that I found them on YouTube and reached out because that's amazing. So, thank you so much to Main Street Mail. That was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. Next up my fashion crate i'm sure you can tell by the brand's name that this is going to be a box that is going to revolve around fashion finds that are going to be sent straight to your doorstep so let's open on up and see what is in store so this is summer 2020 myfashioncrate.com your style delivered i'm not going to open this up in case it has spoilers looks like we're getting one two three four five items which There's an item inside of this box that I wanted for so long, but it's quite pricey and I just couldn't justify spending the money and it is inside of this box and I'm going to save it for last and I'm really, really excited, like very, very excited. So I will save that one for last. The first thing that I'm going to share is Adore, uh, Adora, Adora Therapy, Adora Therapy Room Boost and it is in the scent Blood Orange Blissful. Not quite sure what this is. I'm gonna open it on up. It sounds to me like it might be a spritzer or like a little spray. Let's find out together. Mmm. Oh, I love the scent of blood orange. Look at how pretty this packaging is as well. Oh, I like the packaging a lot. The next thing is Nailmatic Paris Pure Color. And it looks like it is a beautiful, beautiful pink color. Does this color not scream summer to you? Like this color reminds me of going to a nail salon and being like, I want a pedicure with this color. This is in the shade Eva. Very pretty and huge size as well. Three more items. The next item looks like a jewelry item of some sort. It is 
Carolyn Hearn Designs. This is a necklace and it has kind of like a, I'm going to say this wrong because I'm not super into like rocks and crystals and minerals, but I think this is rose quartz. Correct me if I am wrong. Look at how beautiful that is. This is a necklace. It is so beautiful. And I recently became obsessed with stacking necklaces. So I always wear my land necklace, but I've been seeing like a lot of influencers and bloggers like stacking all of their necklaces. And I think it looks so pretty. So I will totally be adding this to my little neck jewelry. Okay, I'm gonna save it one for last. Here's the outfit that you're receiving. It seems to me like you're getting everything that you need for a really nice summery night out. You're getting an outfit, you're getting something that I'll share next. You're getting a little spritzer spray. You're getting nail polish, jewelry. Here is the outfit. First of all, quality. Very, very nice. It's a nice little sundress. Okay, so I will put this on after filming and put in a little clip. Like I'll insert a clip over here so you can see exactly what it looks like. But look how cute. The quality is so nice. It looks like a bohemian style maxi dress. I really really like this i've been so into dresses lately like so into dresses lately and this is like totally my aesthetic and totally my style so i know you can't really tell what it looks like right now i will put it on if it fits hopefully it does fit i will insert a little video if i already did so nice. <laughs> i have wanted this for so long this is from poppy and sage So happy right now I've been wanting one of these super cute little what are they called it's like I don't even know what it's called but I've been wanting one of these circular little crossbody bags for the longest time but they're super super pricey rightfully so the quality is really nice but now oh look how cute it is inside I love that pattern this is these are like all really nice high quality items and I really, really like this. So I like this one the most. I really like that dress. I like everything inside of here. I will put the price point in the description, but totally worth it in my personal opinion. Let's move on into some mama boxes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six more boxes to go. So I'm gonna move on into the mama boxes. This is the Dashing Squad, eco-friendly and sustainable. I actually reached out to them. I was on Instagram and I saw an advertisement for them and it really matched up with like my parenting style, if that makes any sense. They look like they had a lot of like Montessori toys on there and they just had a lot of items that kind of matched up to my parenting style so this is the dashing squad i really they're just like very aesthetically pleasing so this is the cave stacker and baby beer so i guess these are all of the items or one of the items i didn't really read this because again i like to be surprised dashing squad a mommy and me box like look at how pretty everything in here is eco-friendly everything is sustainable which is really really important to me as of lately here is the what is inside my box lots of stuff in here i'm gonna read that later and here is how it is packaged all together super super pretty i love the dainty little ribbon rope so let's open up and see what we are getting so the first thing that we are getting is the dashing squad garment care so i'll open this up and show you but i just really want to show how much detail they put into their packaging i love how all of this is just wrapped up it is so neat i love all of, like the rope it's just so pretty so this is how to care for this item i will look at that later and this is either an item for me or landon so this is an item for me no this is an item for landon i definitely will not fit in this this is 18 to 24 months look how so cute i love it there is a little van and then we have the sunset two palm trees very minimal it's just adorable so i can't wait and it's so soft oh, it's so soft I cannot wait for Landon to use that. Next thing is pantry lemongrass deodorant. Oh, I like this. So this is all handmade and it's made in Detroit. And it's obviously very, again, eco-friendly and very sustainable. I've never seen a roll-on deodorant like this, but I'm pretty excited to try this out. I've been trying to use more like eco-friendly, more better for the environment deodorants lately. So this is super up my alley. 
Next up is the Rock Creek Soaps Beer Wild Juice Huckleberries. You can tell that this is like a handcrafted soap and I love the design. I'm gonna open it up so I can show you exactly what it is and it is free of all of these things. That is what this company really specializes in. Again, I sound like a broken record, but eco-friendly, natural, sustainable items. That smells so good. And I love the little texture on the top. So we're getting a very large size soap. Ooh, I like this box. I think I have to subscribe. Def definitely have to subscribe. This is the Eco Smart Pure Last set of six pinch bowls. Okay. Very excited about this because side story, we could not have a birthday party for Landon. His birthday was April 30th. He turned one and with this pandemic going on, we couldn't have a birthday party. So a lot of our family members and friends just gave him money so we could buy him something that we wanted. And we ended up buying him the cutest little kitchen set. It is not in yet. I'm waiting for it to be delivered and I will share it on my Instagram. But we got him the cutest little kitchen set and I am going to put this in his kitchen set and it is going to be the happiest thing ever so i'm going to show a little close-up of this i'm not quite sure what this is maybe this is for care get the facts on the back anyways we're getting all these cute little colorful pincher bowls which is a skill that they should be learning to use their pinchers to grab at items that are smaller and then we're getting a cute little i don't know it's like a towel i'm not 100 sure what this is but dishwasher safe I'm not sure what this is, but I think I'm just gonna use this on top of his little kitchen because it is going to match so, so well. So there is one, no, two more items left in here. One of them is definitely a mom item. Let's see what this one is. This is, looks like a toy maybe for Landon. <gasps> These are my favorite toys. We have the Grimm's Rainbow Rainbow Stacker. It's like the Grimm's original one. And it looks, I mean, like a much bigger version of this, but look how cute this is it's a little puzzle so they should be able to like put it together you can stack them up there are so many different things that you can do with this and i love the coloring and it comes with a little wooden bear and i am so into all of the wooden toys from landon if you haven't seen our play room tour i will link it in the description and it shows like all the montessori toys that we use with him and it'll just share i'm actually in his playroom right now if you want to check it out but this matches <laughs> every single thing about his playroom so hard this is the cutest thing and i think this is my favorite item so far by far the last item is a little bracelet look how pretty this is i love this bracelet and i love the colors so this is a mommy item so in this box you're going to be getting some mommy items and you are going to be getting some baby items and i'm going to put this on right now because it is so cute i like it a lot a lot a lot a lot Okay, so that is everything inside the Dashing Squad Mommy and Me box. Like, give yourself a round of applause, totally subscribing to them. We're gonna move on to our next Mommy and Me box, and we're also going to move on to the boxes that I purchased with my own money. Pretty much all the boxes that you saw so far were sent to me for reading purposes. The, I think the rest of them are all boxes that I subscribe to with my own money, and I get monthly or quarterly. This one being Lily Post Books for Littles. If you have watched any of my Instagram stories for my monthly unboxings or any of my YouTube videos, you would know that this is my favorite, favorite subscription service for Landon. I am a teacher, I'm a mother as well, but I just absolutely love all things books. And this is a book subscription service for your littles. They have a ton of different subscriptions on their website, depending on your child's age and depending on the kind of books that you want, whether they be picture books or board books or a combination of both and they have price points to match your budget so the longer you subscribe to them of course the cheaper it is going to be so check out the description if you are interested in getting lily post i've been subscribed to them for about six months now and every single box gets better and better and better so every single month they have a little coloring contest. Landon is not quite old enough for this yet, but I always like to recommend it and talk about it and suggest it in case your kids are old enough. Their coloring contest this month is insects. And if you 
put your entry in for their coloring contest you can win like a ton of prizes so every single month they pick a winner and then they will feature that winner in their next box and they also send that winner like a ton of prizes whether it be books stuffed animals toys whatever it may be we're not there yet i get four boxes because four boxes i get four books because i subscribe to the board book box which you get four per month it's very inexpensive like very very inexpensive the first book that i'm getting is no <laughs> no <laughs> look how cute oh i love this box i just love reading with landon is my favorite pastime to do with him look how cute so this is otto was adorable everybody said so then one day he learned a new word no a hilarious tale perfect for families tackling traumas cute 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 love it oh we actually have this one but a different version it's up there i don't you can't see that right now but it is the first animal facts i got it from lily post and we got the ocean version now we are getting the garden version i love that book it is so colorful and you get all really interesting facts about ocean animals so now we have garden one so it tells you like bird and it tells you all about the bird for example this is a bird birds love to sing birds sleep in nests birds eat worms birds eat worms baby birds are called chicks so it does that for all a different kind of garden animals and garden insects and we have the other one for ocean so this is really exciting to me hopefully by the time we move on to the picture books we'll have like the whole entire series oh cute, oh, cute. i like this one this is gonna be my favorite one because there's milk and cookies on the cover you guys me this is the we go together Read along to this silly rhyming book as an unlikely friendship between a rabbit and a bear is explained. We go together like carrots and peas. We go together like macaroni and cheese. You and your child will laugh out loud together at these adorable illustrations. I'm definitely, definitely here for this one. That's for sure. Like, look how cute. I think this is my favorite one. Yep. Probably my favorite one in this box might be one of my favorite ones that i've ever received from lily post the illustrations are really pretty and the last one that we are getting is everybody goes nighty night we have a ton i think this is from sandra i don't even know how to say her last name but we have a ton of books from her from my baby shower at my baby shower i asked everybody in lieu of doing a card to send a book and write a note inside of the book instead and then between my baby shower and subscribing to lily post we have a ton of her books and they're so cute landon likes them a lot oh this is a flip flap book stop it landon loves flip flap books oh this just made it so so much better look at that how cute and you can count so there's shapes there's a cute little story okay loving this this was maybe one of my favorite boxes that i received from lily post so that's amazing i do have a referral code that i will put in the description i think it will get you ten dollars off it is not an affiliate link i won't make any money if you use the code but if you do use the code you'll get ten dollars off and then i'll get ten dollars off of a future box so it is just a referral code if you're not into referral codes i'm sure you can find another one online if you don't want to give me the credit but if you would like to give me the credit i will put my code in the description flipping fantastic love love this box we're now moving on to the meat and potatoes of this video the next couple of boxes are very very large boxes they are quarterly boxes so i do subscribe to boxycharm you get one every single month but once a quarter you can sign up for their boxy lux it is called and it is a larger box it costs a little bit more money of course but you're going to be getting like double or triple the amount of items that you would get in the monthly box and they're all supposed to be luxury higher quality more desirable items so i do subscribe to boxycharm and i do subscribe to boxy lux i do the upgrade so this is the boxy lux box for the summer summer 2020 here it is without reading off all of the products and all of the actual items inside this box has some retail value of $24, $23, $24, $49, $80, $55, $55, $55 so all these items in here have a retail of one of those values let's just dig on in i don't even know where to begin right now i'm just gonna grab items at random the first thing is the pure heels natural village nature village and this is a sleeping mask I love me a good sleeping mask. Let's open it up and see what the actual product looks like. 
oh, it's actually like really, really nice. It's not like a plasticky, it's not glass, it's kind of something in between. So this is a little sleeping mask and then it comes with this little spatula and it is enriched with honeybee extract, provides full nourishment and glowing skin for tired skin while you sleep. Me. I have a 13 month old at home. <laughs> the next thing that I am getting is the No Pore Problem. No Pore Blim. So no problem, no pore blim. This is the Prime Essence and this is a touch in soul. I don't even know what this is. This is a primer. Let's find out together. It is a prime essence. So it must be a primer, I would assume. Why do I not know what this is right now? Prime essence for anyone looking to take their makeup routine to the next level. It's enhanced with flower extracts to minimize your pores. Okay, so it is a primer. This is a pretty decent sized primer as well. Liking it. Really digging it. Okay, this one's very controversial. I'm personally really excited about it because I've never tried it before, but I hear you either love this or you hate it. It is Kylie Skin. I've never bought anything from Kylie Skin. I'm just like, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not indifferent. I, I don't hate the Kardashians. I don't love the Kardashians. I don't anything the Kardashians. I know people have very, very strong opinions about them. I'm just kind of neutral, I guess you would call it. But this is the Kylie Skin Love of the Packaging. The packaging is beautiful, and this is a foaming face wash. Your girl could use as much face wash as possible. I'm very excited to try this. I will let you guys know on my Instagram how I feel about it. I heard it's like a big gimmick, and like the quality is not that great, and you're just buying the name, but we're gonna try it out together, and we'll see. Next is the Smile Science. This is two pens, professional results, teeth whitening pens. I get so nervous using teeth whitening pens because my teeth are so sensitive and I always get nervous like putting things inside of my mouth, like using things orally. I don't know if I will try this off. I will have to look at all the ingredients and make sure it's not like super chemically based. But this is the one that I think was $80. Yeah, this is $80. So hopefully it's not chemical based. I will do some research and decide for myself if I'm going to use it. But it is in the flavor mint, so that's cool. A couple more things in here. We're getting the Bodyography Professional Cosmetics Lip Pencil 2 Pack. There we go. All right, this is pretty nice actually. I like this and the colors are really nice for the summer. We're getting one in the shade Pouty and one in the shade Rosewood. I'll do a swatch in a second and show you what they each look like. This is actually the color that I use on the daily. It's the color that I'm using right now. It matches up perfectly, so that's really nice. And this color is perfect for the fall. I'm really excited for these because I don't know about you, I don't wear makeup enough or lipstick enough to use up an entire lip pencil, let alone two lip pencils in the summer months. So this is perfect that I could use this one for the summer month and this one will transfer right on over into the fall months. Very, very excited about this. Looks like we have three more items. I've mentioned this, if I've mentioned this a hundred times, I've mentioned it a billion times. I love, love mascara. It is my absolute favorite makeup item of ever. I would rather just put mascara on my eyes and walk out for the day than put any other makeup on. I just feel like mascara can truly transform your eyes from looking like super tired to just looking like BAM. So this is a mascara and this is the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. So I do do a lot of like, quote unquote get ready with me I guess you would say on my Instagram very very unprofessional ones so I will try this one out the next time I do a little get ready with me on my Instagram let me show you the bristles though that we're working with oh I like the bristles I like the wand a lot so excited this is gonna probably be my favorite item sorry my foot fell asleep and it is in the tingling stage right now and it's just such a weird feeling so I had to move it around a little bit now we're gonna move right back into the rest of the boxycharm luxy box review the next thing that I am pulling out there are two more items so the second to last item is by BDB billion dollar brushes this is the charcoal brush set bristles that are infused with charcoal I don't know why anybody would need that but it is vegan and cruelty free which i'm very into i like the packaging packaging is really really pretty 
I love that minimal look. So I don't know how many we're getting in here, but the box says one, two, three, four, five. I don't understand how you could fit five brushes in here, but they did it. Five brushes. So we are getting a powder brush, contour brush, concealer brush, eyeshadow brush, and a highlighter brush. This couldn't have come at a better time because I need new brushes really, really bad. And pretty much the only brushes that I ever use are brushes that I get from BoxyCharm. So that's really fun. The last item is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Tartiest Pro. This is an Amazonian clay palette. Clay palette, ooh, so pretty. Love, love, love. I do love this packaging. I will say, however, most of these items are really giving me fall vibes right now. They're darker items, and you would think for the summer it would be a lot more like brighter, pastel-y type colors, but not saying anything or shading in the items. I think the items are pretty awesome, but I think I just expected a little bit more color in this boxy Lux box. I would expect more of these like darker tones and darker colors for fall or for winter. I'm sure the product's gonna be great, so who really cares? Ooh, this is nice. So it looks like we're getting some eyeshadows, we're getting some glam ones, we're getting some like glitter ones, we're getting some matte ones, we're getting some shimmer ones. Look at that. I do appreciate that the palette itself is kind of small. I've received some palettes from BoxyCharm and they're like really thick, but the makeup is only this big and I just feel like it's very wasteful. So this palette itself, it's very small and it's very compact. So they're giving you some tips on the back on how to do like smoky eyes and how to do like all these different makeup styles. So that is everything that I got inside of the Boxy Lux box for summer 2020. Can you get all of your thoughts together, Allison? I really liked it. I'm excited about all the products. I think I would give this like a seven or an eight out of 10. No, maybe like an eight out of 10. I really do like the products. I just think I expected a little bit more like summer vibes. I think I'm getting a lot of fall vibes and fall is my favorite, fall forever, but we are in the summertime right now. So I just thought we were gonna get a couple more like summer specific items, if that makes any sense. This next review is going to be bittersweet. It is the end of an era, I'm going to be reviewing the final Pop Sugar box. The final Pop Sugar must have box. I have been subscribed to Pop Sugar since day one. I have been receiving their boxes since 2014. <laughs> they used to be a monthly subscription service, then they turned into a quarterly subscription service. And just the other day, I think it was like two or three days ago, I received an email saying it is with a heavy heart, but they decided that their summer 2020 quarterly box is going to be the last box that they curate. They didn't really go into detail on why, they just said that they had a great time curating these boxes and they decided as a team that it is going to be their last box. And I really like Pop Sugar like a lot. Like I love their subscription service. I look forward to it every single quarter and I used to look forward to it every single month but all good things must come to an end. I can't truly show you the box in its entirety because they have a huge sticker with my address on it, but this is the size of the box. Their boxes are always very big. Let's open on up and let's review the last Pop Sugar box. So sad, I love Pop Sugar. So here is the little pamphlet. Tells you again about all of the products and the price points. I will save that for after. It looks really good too, it looks really nice. So let's start off with, <coughs> excuse me, product number one, Antica Pharmacita. Sure, I pronounced that wrong. This is the Lush Palm Intoxicating Green Floral. I think that this might be a candle. Let's see, very pretty packaging. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a candle because I can smell like a very strong scent. Ooh, it's so pretty looking. Oh, and it smells so good. It smells so, so good. I love, I love the design. It's not just like a circular candle. It has a little bit of dimension to it. Next up, we are getting the Samoy. It's me, Gentle Makeup Remover Cleansing Wipes. I use makeup remover wipes literally every single night. So this is fantastic. I am trying to not use makeup wipes as much because I don't think they're as great for the environment. 
I mean, I keep getting them in all of my boxes and I don't just want to throw them away. So I just use the ones, I don't buy them at the store ever. I just use the ones that I get in subscription services and then I use my personal cleanser when I don't have any more. This is Fragrance Free Dermatologist Tested in Hypoallergenic. Very pretty packaging as well. I am a broken record. Next up we are getting Pharmacy. I love this brand. It is the Very Cherry Bright and this is a serum i believe made exclusively for pop sugar let's open it up see exactly what it is yes it is a serum 15 percent clean vitamin c serum i like the whole entire like see-through look of this very summery and i like that it is cherry scented Okay, so this was one of their spoilers. I did see this and I was really excited about it because this screams summer to me. It is a, ooh, these are really nice. We are cheerful but fragile, so please be gentle with us. We perform best when treated with lots of love. So this was one of the spoilers that a lot of people are upset about, but I was really excited about it. It is a set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beaded bracelets and the colors just scream summer to me i don't know why people would be so upset about this i think this is an awesome item but looking on like forums people didn't seem very excited about it they said like oh my three-year-old daughter could make that but i mean you got to give them grace this is a pretty cool item in my personal opinion i really really enjoy it not sure if my camera is focusing there we go very nice Okay, this is another spoiler, not this one. I'll go to this one. I am like all set for bags now for the whole summer. And luckily some of these bags are like transition bags that can go into fall because where I live, the fall is still pretty hot until we get to like October. Look at this pretty little bag. It does have a strap inside. I only know that because this was another one of these spoilers. But this is another bag that just screams day at the beach. I love it. Like it's gonna look so so cute <clears throat> okay we're getting a couple of random items i think that these are the like add-on items we're getting the diane's kitchen daily crunch cherry berry melody and we're getting the redd radiant energy delicious delivered so these look like little add-on items just to test out they might have partnered with these companies to get some free items and these don't typically factor into the total cost of the box this next one I saw online as a spoiler. I'm not super into it because the design is not my personal style, but I will totally get use out of it. It is like a sarong, is that what it is called? Where you can like use it as a towel, you can use it as a cover up, you can use it as a skirt, you can use it as something to like wear as a bandana. I just don't personally like the color, but I like the idea behind it. So there are a couple more things underneath. We are getting the Natural Calm Magnesium Supplement, and this is the Flavor Raspberry Lemon. I don't use supplements, but I'll try it out. Or I'm sure somebody that I know will want to use it. Ooh, Bas Batiste, Batiste, whatever it's called, No Rinse Shampoo. This is a waterless cleansing foam. What? Instant hair refresh, dries in 60 seconds, cleanse and strengthen with almond oil. So this is not, I thought this was going to be a dry shampoo. That's the brand dry shampoo that I use a lot, but it's not. It is a waterless cleansing foam, a waterless shampoo. What are you? That's so cool. It gives you directions on how to use it in the back, but totally trying that out. And the final thing that we are getting is the Bioderma Sensible H2O. This also looks just like a little tester packet. It is makeup removing micellar solution for sensitive skin. So we're getting a pack of four testers for the um, micellar makeup remover. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like if you just take all of these and pour them into a bottle, you would get the actual bottle. Why the four? I don't quite know. I'm sad. <laughs> I mean, I think some of these items have like a lot of potential, but I don't think this was my favorite pop sugar box by any means. Like I'm really excited about some of the items. I love the candle. I love, love, love the bracelets, the bag, perfect. So I'm sure those items alone already had paid for the box. But if this was gonna be like their last box that they're ever going to make, I feel like they should have went out with a bang. I don't think this was like a home run box. I think it has a lot of potential, but I don't think that they went out with a bang. 
I also don't know if that was like a snap decision. Maybe they had already curated this box and then decided after curating it that they were going to close shipment down or close shop down. But I like it. I like all the products. I'm going to use them all. I'm sure they're all like value wise there. I just wish that if they knew this was going to be the last box, they would have a little bit more. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's just my personal opinion. The second to last box is actually not a subscription service. It is something that I got suckered into buying via Instagram ads, which happens quite often. It is a company called Olive and June. If you are unfamiliar with them, they are a nail polish company, a very high quality vegan cruelty free nail polish company. And I got suckered into buying their summer set, <clears throat> excuse me, because the colors looked so, so beautiful. So I'll just show you what the packaging looks like. Packaging, not anything to rave about, but I'll show you all of the colors that I received. I'll do like two at a time. This was very pricey. I think it cost me like $88. Again, suckered right on into buying it, but I use these quite often since receiving it. I received it about a month ago and they're the only nail polishes that I've been using since. And a lot of the colors are very specific for the summer. However, they do have like yellows and oranges and other colors that I can transfer into the fall months and then even the winter months. So I will totally get good use out of these. I think I got seven nail polishes and then one top coat. And I love this top coat. This top coat is incredible. I will say I started using this and typically when I paint my nails, they chip within like a day or two. I have been able to get like a good five, six days out of this just using my natural nails. Like I don't have gel, I don't have like acrylics, I don't have any of that stuff. I just have my natural nails and I have been able to stretch the use out for a solid like five to six days, which is sometimes triple what I usually get. So that was a very quick review. If you guys are interested, I will put their website. I don't have any like coupons. I didn't reach out to them. I just bought this via an Instagram ad, but I really, really, really would promote their nail polishes and their actual formula is really great. And again, it is cruelty free and it is vegan. Love. Which brings us to our very final box of this video. Give yourself a round of applause. Give yourself a pat on the back. You are the real MVP if you made it through this entire video. Your girl loves you so, so much. The final box that we're going to be reviewing is Grove.co. Grove.co has been one of my favorite companies to purchase items from. If you are unfamiliar with Grove.co, it is another eco-friendly, sustainable company. And they have all things for like home, bathroom, just like a ton of things for your home, whether it be cleaning supplies that are ethical, they are safe, they are chemical free. You can check out their website. It is another website that is very dangerous because it is so aesthetically pleasing and you just go onto the website and you're like oh i want that i don't need that but i want that and oh i think i do need that and you just end up like putting so many things into your cart but i use these things daily in my house so i don't mind spending the money this is another company that i also have a referral code i can get you a i think you get a like 30 dollar welcome packet and I will put that in the description below if you sign up and then I will get like $10 off of future purchases. Not sponsored, not affiliated. I just get money off if you use my code for future purchases and you will get a $30 or $40 welcome packet. It's amazing. I went a little wild this time around. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about all the items because there's just, there's a lot, but I will give you a quick little review of all the items that I purchased. The first one being Bees Wrap. I really fell in love with this product, trying not to use as much Saran Wrap as it is so bad for the environment. These are very expensive, so I'm thinking if I get one per month over time, I will be able to build up my stash, but this is a reusable food wrap and it is made from beeswax. Next up, I really needed a razor, like really, really bad. This is the Preserve Shave 5 made with love and recycled plastic. I don't know if this razor is going to work super well. I will keep you posted, but I needed a razor. And along with the razor, I also got razor heads and that's in there somewhere. These are like my absolute favorite things to get from Grove. It is the coconut scrubber sponge and it is also the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponge. 
we use these so often especially with this pandemic i never knew we could possibly do as many dishes as we have been doing lately so we're going through a lot more sponges and i just love these and they're so pretty and they match our kitchen it's not like that really vibrant neon like blue or green or yellow or pink it's just very minimal and very like it kind of looks like a sophisticated sponge in my personal opinion this is another thing that i fell in love with i purchased these in the past and i repurchased them ditch the plastic straws these are reusable glass straws i use these for my smoothies and when we have people over i'm trying not to use like plastic i almost said spoons plastic straws at all anymore i'm trying to build up a stash of like a lot of glass or reusable straws so this is what they look like they're really pretty and then you get a little cleaner tool with them as well let's get back to talking about all the dishes that we have been doing along with doing the dishes so much we have been using the dishwasher so so much so i got a bunch of the little seventh generation cleaning tablets for the dishwasher i also got the grove wool dryer balls I feel about these i think i just bought them because they looked really pretty and i was like oh i think i could totally use these but i bought these in the past and i didn't end up using them i just have to actually start using them because they're supposed to make all of your laundry just like super soft and they do that naturally rather than using like a chemically product i always every single time i purchase from them get some more cleaning supplies for the kitchen so i got the rose scent dish soap the Myers, this is our favorite one to use, our favorite brand. We've tried like a bunch of the different scents. And then I also got a multi-surface everyday cleaner and this one is in the scent Basil. Myers is my favorite. Okay, so here are the other razor heads. This is the Preserve 5, so I got the razor and then I think I got five additional razor heads. Along with doing the most ridiculous amount of dishes lately, we have been just like our trash has been out of control because we're just home. We're so used to like being out with friends or family and doing things with them. Now everything we're doing, all of our meals, everything we're doing pretty much is at home. Although Rhode Island is really slowly starting to open back up, we're using a lot of trash still and we're doing a lot of dishes. So I got the Grove Reusable or recycled, I should say, not reusable, yeah. trash bags. And it is the drawstring trash bags made from 100% recycled plastic. Next up, oh, I got something for Jax. He's gonna be so excited. These are lobster roll over flavored, made with upcycled ingredients. He's coming, he just heard me. This is a shameless pet soft baked dog treat. Can you hear him? It's like he can smell them from the other room. So I got Jack's little treat. I never saw dog treats on there before and I was sold. Next I got the, I say this wrong every time and everybody always corrects me and then I forget. It's O'Shea or O.C. It is a face sensitive skin step starters kit. I use the Avera Glow. I did just run out of it. And my skin, personally, I know I've talked about this before, if I use the same products over and over, my skin becomes immune to it. So I like to switch it up. I just used up the whole entire Vera Glow line. And now I'm going to do the O'Shea and then I, or O.C. And then I'll go back to Vera Glow, try another one, because it really worked well for my skin. But I know if I use it too much or if I use it continuously, my skin just becomes immune to it. So I kind of have to like switch it up and I have to kind of like trick my skin. But this is very small actually. It's a cleanser and hydrator protector and a body lotion. I'm not 100% sure, but this is what it looks like. Cleansing milk, argan oil, protective clean, and a lotion. Couple more items. I got the coconut milk bar soap and I also got the peppermint bar soap. I love their bar soaps. We use them in the shower and we use them in the tub all the time and they smell so stinking good. So, so good. Three more items. I got, I don't even know what this is. What did I get? I don't even remember ordering this and I think I ordered the wrong thing because I would not <laughs> order this. I totally got the wrong thing. I got the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Honeysuckle Scent. I know I put this into my cart, but I think I thought it was something else. I thought it was, what did I, th I, I think I thought that this was like a hand soap. It is not as a laundry scent booster, which I've never personally used before, but here's to trying new things. <laughs> Two more things. I got the laundry detergent in Honey Suckle, and this is just laundry detergent. We like to use this for our laundry as well as Landon's laundry. 
Maybe this just came with it because I don't remember ordering this. I remember ordering the honeysuckle scent, so maybe I ordered this and this just came with it because it's like laundry related and it's kind of like related. I don't know. Oh, I got another one of these. Okay, cool. I got two bees wraps. Like, where's where's my head when I'm ordering? I have no idea. The final thing that I purchased is diapers, size four. Landon just started wearing size four diapers and we didn't really have any and this was during the pandemic when I ordered all of this and we didn't want to go to the store so I got them in and in the meantime we already bought like four more boxes of them but this is the seventh generation free and clear sensitive skin I love the little designs that they have on these and it is size four so I hope what I ordered gives you a sense of like how many different things that they have on their website all like free and clear they have bathroom stuff, they have kitchen stuff, laundry stuff, dog stuff, baby stuff. They have so many different things. Skin line as well. It's called Roven. It's right on their site. So that's everything that I got. And that's everything that I ordered with my, I think I got this one in April. And it is now June and I'm finally reviewing it. And that is it for this, what I'm only assuming is going to be an extremely lengthy unboxing video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any other questions or concerns, please ask them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And thank you so much for just being freaking amazing people that I get to connect with on the daily. I love you so much. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye guys.